The experiments you will see have been carefully done by professionals and should not be tried at home without parental guidance. Please follow the caution signs throughout this program. experiments we have an exciting one for you today but first let me introduce you to professor roy hi how are you today I'm good. I'm good. yay you. we have some helpers jafet amy sebastian and adrian are you ready for something exciting today yes, yes. i am too what do you have for us today well i thought we'd talk about clouds clouds yeah, maybe we can make a cloud really be kind of fun wouldn't it it would be. Wouldn't you be excited to make one? Yeah. So if we're talking about clouds, then we're kind of talking about weather, right? Okay. So what, what drives our weather? What is the most important thing about weather? Without this, we wouldn't have our weather. What do you think it is? When you go outside, huh? Front? It's the sun. That's right. Absolutely. The sun drives our weather. Isn't that interesting? You know, most of the planet is water, isn't it? Okay, and the sun shines down on the water and the lakes and the streams and the oceans, and all of that water does what? Evaporate. Evaporates, goes up into the air, right? Then we have groundwater too. Then we have some plants, and the plants give off water too. Now, when a plant gives off water, we call it transpiration. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. I mean, a tree will give off gallons and gallons of water every day, and all that goes up into the atmosphere, and eventually there's so much water in the atmosphere, what forms? A cloud. A cloud forms, and then the cloud gets so, it gets so dense, and it gets so heavy, and what happens then? It's it raining. Rain uh, or uh, precipitation, right? Which could be what? Snow. Sleet. Sleet. Hail. Hail. Rain. Rain. <laughs> and it's called the water cycle. But clouds are very important, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Got to have clouds. Otherwise, we, we can't have life on planet Earth. I can't wait to see. Let's see what you're going to do. Let's go outside. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. All right. Join us. Let's, Let's go. go. Oh, my. I can't wait to see what's happening. Yeah. Oh, I wonder what that is. Ooh, I think I have a guess. It's liquid nitrogen. Oh. You ever had any? No. No, well, we've got some liquid nitrogen because we want to do some really neat experiments with it, right? Because it's very, very cold. It's the second coldest liquid that we know of, okay? And the first coldest happens to be what? Liquid helium? Liquid helium, that's right. We don't have it. We, well, we have liquid nitrogen. Now, that's interesting to me. But, you know, it's so cold that it's, it looks like, looks like it's hot, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you get steam and condensation coming out. Well, well, that's condensation coming out right there. And it's actually uh, because of the water molecules in the air. We're actually seeing lots of water molecules. Today, we're going to see trillions and billions of water molecules because we're going to make a huge cloud. So if we're going to make a huge cloud, do you think we need more than this? Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. In fact, we've got 10 liters of liquid nitrogen wow. in wow. this doer right wow. here. A doer is a, a cryogenic container, and it holds our liquid, uh, that liquids that are very, very cold. We could have liquid hydrogen. We can have liquid oxygen. We could have uh, CO2, liquid uh, carbon dioxide. There's all kinds of different liquids. So, But most of the air that we breathe is liquid, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Wait, no gas. No. 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 It's an air gas. But we can change some of the air gas into a liquid by pressurizing it, right? By, by squeezing it, by putting it under a lot of pressure and then cooling it down. That's really cool. Well, this is boiling right now. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. And it boils at that temperature of a minus 196 degrees Celsius. It's just really, really cool. Well, I'm going to make a little cloud uh, right here. I'm just going to pour it on the ground. We're going to make a little cloud. Then we're going to make a really, really big cloud. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, all right, but you know what? I'm going to put on my safety glasses. Do you have your safety glasses? Yep. yep. Okay, good. I'm going to put mine on, too. You don't want to get this splash in your face. Not a good idea. Okay, how about a countdown? Three, Three two, 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 one. one. I'll pour it out. Oh. And there's our cloud. Now, what's the name of that cloud? You know, clouds have names, don't they? Mm -hmm. Can you name a cloud for me? Cirrus. Cirrus clouds. Any others? Cumulonimbus. Nimbus. Clouds. All right, nimbus clouds, right. Cumulonimbus, okay. And stratus, right? And stratus clouds? Yeah. What do we call a cloud that's low-flying on the ground? 
What do we call that? It's like a fog. That's right, we call it fog. Okay, so you ready for our big cloud? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my safety shield on, right, besides my safety glass. I don't wanna get that in my face because I'm gonna be really close to this. And then I have in this container right here, I've got hot water, right? Oh. Hot water, and the hot water is just off of boiling, okay, so that's really, really hot, which is about 100 degrees Celsius, right? That's when water boils. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna pour uh, all of this liquid nitrogen, about 10 liters into this trash can and in the trash can we have a an ice chest okay because it's thicker and it's a lot stronger so we're going to fill that up with liquid nitrogen and then i'm going to come over here and we got some boiling hot water just off a of boil and i'm going to pour all of it all of a sudden all at one time right inside of that liquid nitrogen and you know what's going to happen Gonna we're going to have a reaction. Again. We're going to have a reaction. We're going to vaporize. We're going to vaporize the water, okay, in here. We're going to vaporize the liquid nitrogen, and all of it is going to be explosive, really, and it's going to go up into the air, and then since it's going to be so cold, we're going to condense the water molecules in the air that we can't see right now. They're all around us to make a beautiful cloud, right? Yay. Cool. Okay, hey, so why don't you stand right over there, okay, and I'm going to get myself ready, okay, and I'm going to get my safety shield on. All right, here we go. Let's get my safety shield on and tight, plus I have my glasses on. All right, here we go, and I'm going to put our 10 liters of liquid nitrogen right in there, and I'm going to put my gloves on. That'd be a good idea. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a real good idea. All right, here we go. Let's put our gloves on, because that's going to be really, really what? That's cold or hot? Cold. That's cold. This is cold or hot? Hot. Hot. So we have a mixture, don't we? Yeah. And we have a differential temperature around 400 degrees or more. All right, so here we go. Let's pour all of this inside of here. All right, here we go. And we're starting to make a little cloud right now, aren't we? Okay, so I'm filling up that ice chest in here with about 10 liters of our liquid nitrogen. Oh, wow. And we've almost got it all in. It's oh, wow. a lot of liquid nitrogen. <laughs> See how we're doing. That is a lot. <laughs> and I think we've about got it. Looks like okay, there we go. Right all right, there. so yeah. we've got all of that in here. Yeah, Let me set this here. down. All right. Now I'm going to take the lid off of this. All right. Here we go. Let's take our lid off of that. Cool. This is boiling water. This is water straight off of the boil. All right. And then we'll need a countdown, right? Okay. All right. Okay. Let me adjust this a little bit. All right. Here we go. All right. We'll start off with 10. Are we ready? Yes. Okay. Here we go. 10, 10 9, 9, 8, eight 7, seven six, 6, 5, 5 4, 4, 3, 2, 2 1. 1. And here we go. Whoa. Look at that cloud. Isn't that amazing? That was awesome. That's amazing. Did you get wet? No. No, but got, you did. I got, I got a little wet. <laughs> and that was very, very cold, isn't it? It broke the trash oh, can. Look at the ice. It did what? It broke the trash can. It cracked in the back. Oh, it broke the trash can. It split it up. Is that what we're seeing? Interesting. Wow. Have you ever heard of a low front coming in, like a weather report, like a meteorologist? Mm -hmm. And a low front, what, what happens, what kind of weather do we have if we have a low front? Lousy, lousy weather. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's kind of lousy weather. Interesting, isn't it? And if we have a high front coming in, that means we've got what? Good got happy nice, weather. Happy <laughs> we have fair yeah. weather. Interesting. But we have, what, 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 makes, what makes warmer air go up, do you think? It's colder air. That cloud was really, really cold. But cooler air comes in and it, and it forces the warmer air up. Well, that's really interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I love that. Wow, and I like all different kinds of clouds. I do too, and it reminds me, I remember living in uh, Puyallup, Washington, and out there, there was a mountain, of course, we could see Mount Rainier. Mm. And if it was a cloudy day, we knew if it, the clouds were around Mount Rainier, we knew it was going to rain. Oh. It was kind of interesting, and then when it, we knew it was going to be a nice day when it was sun shining outside and it was just beautiful outside. It was nice to be able to see. Clouds are kind of important, right? They are. We kind of like clouds. How many of you have tried to look up out in the sky and look for these clouds? Oh yeah, yeah. I love yeah? to look at clouds. How do you know how, what, what kind of day it is? What kind of day do you think today is going to be? Sunny, uh, it's sunny, cloudy. Sunny, cloudy. Sunny, cloudy. Now, there, what, kind of, what do you see those lines? What kind of lines do you see there? What clouds. kind of clouds are they, are they right stratus? now? Yeah, they might be stratus. 
okay? They're starting to get low. It might rain yet, but it, oh, it might miss us still because I see some almost the nice fluffy clouds that look like nice days. So it could go either way today, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So clouds are kind of important and it, it reminds me of some Bible texts. Can any of you think of a Bible text about clouds? I can think of some stories in the Bible. Oh yeah, there's some neat, neat stories Elijah. about Elijah. Oh, tell me the story about Elijah and the cloud. The, well, there was a curse on the land. It wouldn't rain until Elijah said. And there was a small cloud You're right. that formed the size of a man's hand over the ocean. And it started to rain. On and the it land started again. to rain. Yes, mm -hmm. God used Elijah for that purpose, right? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Can you think of another story in the Bible? There's lots of weather happening Noah. with Noah and his ark. Yeah. Noah All the and rain his and ark. storm. I remember another storm that Jesus was on a boat. Can I get more of you to turn over like this? Come over this way. Can any of you can think of another storm? Where was Jesus? He was tired. He was preaching. He, he, was, he was on a boat. boat. What was he doing? Sleeping. 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 And what was happening? What kind of weather did we have? It was storm. a terrible storm. It was a huge storm. You're right. And then what was happening? The boat was, right. was going to sink. And what happened with everybody? They Everyone freaked was worried. out. They were afraid. Oh, they were afraid, yes. And so what happened? What did Jesus do? He calmed the waters. Yeah. He calmed the waters. You're right. And it reminds me of another story in the Bible. It, sounds, it happens in the back of the Bible. What's the last book of the Bible? Revelation. Revelation. And what's comes another? On the cloud. Who's coming in the cloud again? Jesus. Jesus. Who is coming in the cloud again? Jesus. Let's say it Jesus together. Is. Jesus yes. is coming. All of his angels. And that's wonderful because we have Jesus and we're looking so forward to him. And where is he coming? In a cloud. cloud. And who's coming with him? All angels. his angels. angels. All his angels are coming. And I'm so thankful that we have these wonderful things that God has created. And when we have clouds and when we have rough days, sometimes we don't like, I like, I would like to have only sunny days, wouldn't you? Yes. yes. I would only like to have sunny days, but what would happen if I only had sunny days? No, we'd no have no rain. Yeah. We'd have no rain. So we dry. have to thank God even on cloudy days when things don't go quite so well. We have to be thankful that it's oh, cloudy and rain sometimes, even though I don't right. sometimes like rain. Uh, do you, uh, you like rain? Yeah. We need the Some water you, cycle, don't we? But we need the water cycle. And Should without that, cycle. What, if we didn't have the water cycle, what would happen? We wouldn't have clouds, well, right? would we'd, we? We'd have, we'd have a drought and no plants would grow. Right. Bad news. We, we need the, the, the clouds. So I am so thankful that we have clouds and that God is always providing us. And remember, I have another story in the Bible and there was a pillar. Pillar of the cloud that led the Israelites through the, the pillar desert? At, you're right. The pillar of cloud that was leading the Israelites during the day, and it was providing what? During the hot sun in the desert. Shade. 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 It was providing shade, and at night it was doing what? It was, it was fire. keeping them warm. It was providing the fire and keeping them warm and being the light. You're right, and Jesus is all light. So I'm so thankful. Are you ready to head back in? Yeah. yeah. All right, come and join me. Let's head back in. <laughs> That was so much fun. I enjoy seeing clouds on the ground even. Have you ever seen that before? No. no. I haven't seen a, a cloud on the ground except for maybe fog. Yeah, well that was fun, wasn't it? It was a lot it was of fun. It's pretty too. I like that, which reminds me of sometimes we see those beams that shine through the clouds. Yeah. But I really mm -hmm. like when we mentioned it before, a little bit about Jesus coming through the clouds. clouds. Yeah. I think there's a text. Can you read it for us real quick, Sebastian? Revelation 1-7, Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him. Every eye will see who? Jesus. Jesus. I can't wait to see Jesus. Can you? No. no. I'm so glad that God provided these clouds for us. Yes. Aren't you for protection? It is. We can see God's creation all around us because creation is science. science. That's right. <laughs>